Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm going to show you how to install Fabric and also use it to create your own custom Twitter timeline. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're going to do is actually head right into Safari or whatever web browser you use, and we're just gonna go right over to fabric.io. Essentially what Fabric is, it's hosted by Twitter. You can read about it if you want, but it's essentially a way that we can implement Twitter into our applications, that way you can use ads and other things like that. Crashalytics, you can read more about it. But either way, let's go ahead and sign in. If you haven't created an account, go ahead and create an account and then sign in, it's free. Now, if you have never used Fabric before, typically it would make you go automatically to download plugins, but I have used it before, so I'm just gonna go over here to the left corner and say download plugins. Or essentially the link is fabric.io slash downloads if you just wanna follow the link. Now what it wants to do in here is download and install the Fabric plugin inside of Xcode or Android Studio or whatever you use and put that inside of there so you can utilize it. So we're gonna go ahead and download for Xcode. So download that. All right, so now that has downloaded, so let's just go up here and as you can see, Fabric is downloaded. So let's just go ahead, double click on that, open saying it doesn't trust it, but it should. But either way, let's just minimize that. Now you would be presented with a different kind of page that would have like a little power button or something like that. But either way, you would click on that and you would say new application. And what it wants to do here is select an Xcode project that it wants to install this plugin into. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now this will be a single view application and our product name, I'm just gonna call this my timeline, although you can really call that whatever you want. Language will be Swift and and devices will be universal. So let's go ahead, click next, create. So now we have this, we have select your Xcode project. Now in Fabric itself, there's a button that says browse. Now essentially what this wants you to do, is it wants you to find the Xcode project that we just created. So I'm gonna click on browse right here and we're gonna go over to our desktop, that's where I saved this, and it's timeline right here. Now this is the timeline.xcode project. We just double click on that and it opens it. Now in here you can install whatever you want, Crashalytics, Answers, Twitter, Digits, Mopub, etc, etc. Now right up here, this is the main one that we're going to be dealing with today, Twitter. So we're going to go ahead, say install. Now in this, it says add a run script build phase. Now if you wanna read the instructions, you can automatically just click on that little question mark right there and it has very good instructions. But either way, I'll guide you through it. So essentially in our timeline right here, we just wanna make this a little bit bigger. Go over to our build phases. And right inside of here, we want to click the plus button. And it says new run script phase, as you can see right there. So we're going to add this run script phase and right inside of here, we can click on the one right here and it just deletes all the text that's inside of there. And then we can just click this copy button right there. So it copies it and then we can just paste that right into that right after that one. And now that has been created. So now that that has been created, we have the run script and now we can say command B and it should be processing this and make it recognizable to Fabric that we have properly installed that run script. Now, next thing it wants us to do is take this little icon right here, just click and drag that right into your hierarchy right over there. So now we want to just say finish. And after a little processing, it takes you through a few more steps. So in here, you can switch between Objective-C and Swift. Of course, we're using Swift. So now what you need to do is just click on the blue thing right there that copies it into your clipboard. Then we can head right in here to our AppDelegate. Swift. Now inside of here, right after import UI kit, we're just gonna click enter and paste that right in there. So we're saying import fabric and import the Twitter kit. That way we can actually utilize those things in our application. Now the next thing you want to do is you can go right down here and we just wanna again copy fabric.width and twitter.self and we're just gonna paste that right into our did finish launching with options right in here. So just paste that right in. And now we have done everything to do with that step. So let's go ahead, click next. And now it's verifying the installation. So we can go ahead and go right over here and run our application. And we should see over here in Fabric that it has processed that everything is installed and we're good to go. So yeah, we're pretty much done with Fabric. So let's go right down here back to Safari and we're gonna go to docs.fabric.io. And inside of here you have Fabric Android, Fabric iOS, Fabric OS X, and Fabric Web. In here we're of course working with iOS, so just go ahead, click on that. And we actually wanna go right down here into Twitter, so we can click that plus button right there and then go over to show timelines. Now of course I'm skipping over everything because I'm doing just the timeline itself, but if you wanna look through these docs and see what you can do, it's pretty amazing everything that you can do with fabric. But either way, I'm just gonna show you how to do timelines. So we can go to show timelines and go right down here to user timeline. Now, 
up here you have the objective C and you have the swift. Now of course we want to deal with the swift so we're actually going to go right into our Xcode project again. Go over to our view controller dot swift. Now inside of here what we want to do is actually take from this Twitter kit that we're using and apply that to our application. So I'm just going to shrink this down real quick and let's start utilizing it. So right over here we can go over to import UI kit and right after that we can say import Twitter kit. So now we have imported the Twitter kit and now we can actually start using some of the stuff that's inside of that library and apply that to our application. So right inside of here we have the class, user, timeline, view controller. We're actually just gonna go right after that uh, view controller and the colon right there and we're just going to take all the code right after that. So we're gonna hit Command C and we're going to paste that right in. I'll go through exactly what it's doing right now. So right here we have the Twitter timeline view controller. This is something that's actually created inside of the Twitter kit. You can read more about it up here, but either way, it's essentially creating a view controller that we can apply to the view controller that we have already created and we're going to apply a data source to that. So we're letting Twitter manage our application, and then we're going to take that data, and we're going to add that to the data source of our application. So as you can see, we have self.datasource equals Twitter user timeline data source, screen name, fabric, and API client client. Now this client comes from right up here as you can see. So it's a Twitter API client. Now you can keep their screen name and just use Fabric or you can use your own screen name and just put that right in there. My screen name is Architap. Now one thing you will notice is this is a Twitter timeline view controller and if you hit option right now you will see that this is the class of a UI table view controller. So we actually need to go over here to our main.storyboard and I'm gonna make this a bit bigger now. Let's go over to our view controller and just delete that view controller that we have and we're just going to click and drag a table view controller onto the scene like so. Now in the identity inspector right here we want to go to class. We're going to give it the class of our view controller now. Now I'm getting that from if you were to go back to your view controller.swift we have the class and this is the name of whatever you're putting inside of here. So we're giving it the class of the view controller that way anything we put in here will edit the view controller accordingly. So let's go back into our main.storyboard click on our table view controller go over to the attributes inspector and we're just going to set it as is initial view controller. That way it's the first view controller that loads up. So now we have everything connected properly. So let's go ahead and build and run. And now as you can see, it's loaded up my whole Twitter timeline that everything I've posted, all the pictures and whatnot. Now we actually want to take this a step further and edit the actual appearance of our tweets coming in. So let's go back over here and we're just going to go right underneath our self.data source and we're going to say Twitter TWTR tweet view dot appearance dot theme and we're going to give it the theme of dot dark so we're giving it a dark theme now this is a custom build thing so if you were to build and run this right now it's going to configure it how uh, twitter configured it before this is how the dark theme looks now this is an automatically configured thing that twitter automatically creates but if you want to take this a step further you can actually let's go ahead and delete that you can go into this and say TWTR tweet view dot appearance dot and you can go primary text color and you can change that to a UI color dot red color if you want or you can go to a TWTR tweet view dot appearance dot background color and you can make that equal to let's say UI color dark gray color. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, be sure to leave that down in the comments section down below, and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Anyway, cue the outro. Hello, and Jared, thank you very much for allowing me to do the outro on your channel. It means a lot. My name is Michael Tomatis. I live in Tracy, California in the United States. I'm a network engineer. I've been doing that for almost 20 years. And right now I'm a consultant and I create practical training videos for network engineers. You can get more details at routehub.net, um, our website. But I also have a YouTube channel where I mentor other people who want to be network engineers. So check that out as well if you're interested in that. But more importantly than any of that, I created two iPhone apps, all from learning from the Architap website, learning from Jared. I created a quiz-based app called Virtual Network Engineer with different levels that you can obtain. That was a lot of fun. And I created a very simple game, which is free from the App Store called Circle Falls. 
and I created that app from learning from many of Jared's tutorials from Space Invaders and Spitspot. That allowed me to create what you see in Circle Falls. So Jared, thank you once again for the hard work. I am proud to be an app developer because of your channel. And if you want to see more tutorials from Jared like this in the future, please make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.